If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. Hey everybody, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard, and we're going to be going into my updated DBT10 Nirvana Java deck profile. This has been pretty highly requested. I'm kind of surprised with how many uh, crossover dress fans we have out there. But um, I'm actually really excited to show this off. Crossover dress is one of my actually favorite decks to play in terms of its mechanic. I just think it's a lot of fun. So all this new support has been direly anticipated for the deck. We really, really needed some counter charge. So without further ado, we're just gonna jump right into the deck profile. Starting off with our ride deck. Uh, nothing's changed. It's the same as it always was. I got a, got a new shiny card. We got our uh, deluxe collector's uh, Nirvana Java here. With it's a nice gold foil in the name and uh, our BCS Sunrise Egg, but the ride line's pretty much the same. Uh, Reno gets you Trick Star, and Ray, you, let's, you look at top seven for a Prayer Dragon, so that way you can get your crossover dress stuff going uh, pretty early. Going into the grade three to line up, got our three Java. Uh, Persona Ride is pretty good, I've heard, so we want to run three more copies for our playset. And then I'm running three copies of Bram Virena. I've noticed in a lot of the games I've played against that, while Bram Virena is just a really big beat stick, the threat of losing a column is pretty vital to a lot of decks. They don't want to lose that column for some reason. So Bram applies a lot of pressure. He's a 30, 33k beat stick on his own. He's 43 when you persona ride, just a really huge number to swing for um, that can help, help you swing for game. And it's also something your opponent doesn't want to have hit anyways. But other than that, it's also good discard fodder. You want to have Virenas in your drop zone anyways. So I like the three just because I do like to see Bram, and three seems to be consistent enough for me. So now we're moving on to grade twos. This is the newest card from DBT10. I'm running three copies of Mirrors Virena. Uh, instead of running the four, I decided to go with three because the deck seems consistent enough with three. I was running four for a while, but the three has been working. So try it for yourself. If you want to go bump up to four, you can, but this basically is just for counter charge mostly. It lets you put two Virenas in its original dress, and then when it swings, you drop an original Virena dress to counter charge or draw a card. And that's not once per turn, so you can swing, restand, swing again. You can draw two, one or the other, or counter charge two. So um, it's just a really, really vital card to the deck. But since we have so many ways to search out Virenas and also um, kind of filter through the drop zone as well with Vils. The three's been working for me. Speaking of Vils, I'm running two copies of Vils Virena. Its crossover dress ability lets you grab a crossover dress unit other than its own name, and uh, it's a interceptor. So if it's on rear and guard circle, it gets 5k and 10k shield. So when it intercepts, uh, it's a 15k shield, and it can't be chosen by your opponent's card effects. So it stays on the board, which is really nice. So I do like Vils because there's a lot of drop zone filling with Virena's going to drop, so you always have a good target, and it lets you recycle. And then I'm running one copy of Garu Virena. Uh, Garu was still good, but I've dropped it down to one for the consistency and also because we can still add it back to hand from drop if it ends up there. So what Garu is, it, you know, yeah, opponent has to Garu two or more at a time when it's in crossover dress and it gets 10K consistently. So it's just a 20K beater with uh, a battle door skill, which is nice. Uh, so just the one for that. And then I am running two copies of Virena Arcs for the last of our Virenas. Um, just because we do have ways to search out overdress units and it's a really easy card. You just overdress over Trickstar, can plus one, draw two. And since it's searchable, it just makes it really consistent for the deck as well. And since Mirrors Fire Arena doesn't specify it has to be a crossover dress unit, you can still add this into the original dress. So the deck is still super consistent with the uh, hybrid uh, crossover dress overdress support. My last grade two in the deck is Halbados, which is a prayer dragon. So what Halbados does is when it's placed on rear from hand, if you have a Nirvana Vanguard, you counter blast, you put a Virena from your drop to the bottom of your deck, look at top five, look for a Virena from among them, add it to your hand, and if you didn't find one, you counter charge. This is kind of an iffy card for some people, but the reason I am deciding to run it is because uh, I do like the ability to put cards back in the deck. I like that you can find a potential Virena you might be looking for in the top five. And I also like that it's a prayer dragon that can be a beat stick. So instead of running the the other prayer dragon with the swords for Garu Virena, at least you can have this one that can help you kind of search out and filter out early game for 
potential Vibranite cards you're looking for. So I kind of like it as a one-off. So now we're getting to the grade ones. This is a brand new card for the Vibranium Mirror support. We got the Grail Mirror uh, Prayer Dragon. So what Grail Mirror does is when it becomes an original dress, use Soul Blast 1, look at top 7, and look for two Vibranas. One goes to hand, the other goes to drop. Uh, if you only find one, it goes to your hand. So it's really good for thinning out your deck and also just provides the means for Vibranium Mirror's ability. I'm running it at three because you can recycle them with Nirvana Java's ability to call a trick star and a prayer dragon from drop. So, you know, it, there's no real need for this to be at four because it really only works when it becomes an original dress and because you're gonna be bringing those back over and over again. There's some consistency with just the three. Then I'm running four copies of Stragilo. Love Stragilo. This is like one of the best cards in this whole deck in my personal opinion. What I really like about Stragilo is that it instantly searches for your overdress unit, so you grab arcs from your deck. It also lets you look for Trickstar as well, so you can place it on rear from hand, discard a card, look for a Virena, or, or sorry, look for a Trickstar or an overdress uh, ability unit, so Virena arcs. So there's six targets in the deck, so you know makes it easier for you. Also, when it becomes an original dress, you can count plus one, pick a Trickstar from your drop, and call to rear, so you can use that to kind of do more overdress or more crossover dress as well. So I do like to see Stragila in my opening hand just so that I can find arcs early. And I also like the fact that the more copies I'm running, the more likely I am to see it. So, and it's it's still a really good ability. Even if you don't call from hand, you call it from the drop, get that extra trick star out, it helps. And then next for grade ones, running our four, sorry, our three copies of Twin Buckler, which is RPGs. Uh, the ones where if you have one or less in hand, you do not have to discard. And then our one Elementaria, um, because Triple Drive is out there with G units, so we want to make sure that we can pay that for free. And also gets around cards with guard restricts or requiring you to guard with multiple cards from your hand at a time. So Elementaria is pretty important, pretty vital to the competitive scene. Um, but if you really want to stick with the regular PGs, you can do that as well. No problem with that either. And then lastly, for our normal units, we got the the man of the deck, Trickstar. Basically, you need Trickstar for the deck to work. Everything needs Trickstar to overdress. And uh, you search it out with Stragilo, you search it out with Reno. Whole deck revolves around Trickstar. So yeah, gotta have your Trickstars. Going into our trigger units, we got our Drag Veda, which restands your Vanguard. Um, this is, I don't think Dragon Empire is gonna be using anything different. This is the best over trigger for any Dragon Empire deck. Being able to restand your Vanguard, swing again, use Jave's ability to restand a crossover dress unit again, it's really good. You're just not gonna trade it out for anything else. Then we're doing four Burning Flail and four Vanilla Crits. You can get away with eight Vanilla Crits. The effect of Burning Flail is not that important in my personal opinion. While this deck does use Soul, dropping a trigger from hand to feed into that soul, I don't think it's that necessary. It's really up to you. The burning flails are just nice if you have them. So if you do have burning flails, run them. If you don't, vanilla crits are perfectly fine. Then I'm also running flare veils. So I have had issues with this deck where I've decked out, but it's because I went a little too hard with the drawing with Virena arcs and the drawing from Mir's Virena's ability. So I don't think the draw triggers are really the issue there, but I do recommend the draws because you do need to see your pieces when you cross over dress. So if you are missing a specific crossover dress unit or you need to get a prayer dragon for some reason, at least getting draw triggers during your drive checks can kind of help you filter through the deck, draw cards, and also defensively draw triggers are, you know, chef's kiss, they're great. Lastly for heals, we got our one Cure Flare Draco Kid and then our three Vanillas. The Cure Flare is mostly there for, you know, your Ava matchups with the Otsuki Dides, um, but you can get away with the four vanilla heals if you want. I just like having it in, it doesn't hurt. So yeah, that's it for our triggers. And real quick, I'll just kind of give like a basic breakdown of how the deck is supposed to go. So we'll just get right into that. So in this example, we're gonna be riding into our grade three turn. We'll be right into our Nirvana Java. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started to discard a card. If you have another copy of Trickstar you've been discarding throughout your ride phase or even for this turn, that's gonna be one of the important parts for this play. So we ride onto our Rayu, hopefully find ourselves a Prayer Dragon looking through the top seven. Boom, 
Look how good I am. Seventh card. It doesn't matter which prayer dragon is it, it is, as long as you can find something for a discard, or if you can find yourself a Stragilo, which is I ideal, that's the play that you want to go with. But we want to try and add cards to our hand, if we can, if it's part of the skill. Next, we want to make sure that we can get set up for our arcs if we don't have one in hand. So we're going to use our Stragilo to maybe discard some Virenas if we want to have them in drop. And then we can use that to grab ourselves an Arcs if we don't have one already. So after we grab our Arcs, we don't want to use Arcs over our back row Trickstar, obviously. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that we can crossover dress so that we're able to use Mir's Virena skill and also maybe get like a decent hand going. We do have two Virenas in our drop, so we're pretty much ready to go for Mir's. So we'll go ahead and we'll crossover dress Mir's Virena. We'll use Dragila's effect first, just for the sake of timing. It doesn't matter which order you do it, but we're going to counter blast to call that Trickstar back on this side. Then we can use Mirror's Virena, put two Virenas into the original dress, we're set up for our counter charging. Now that our Trickstar is on our front row, we can go into our arcs. So this does not have to be the play that you do every single turn, but this is just an example of what you can do to kind of get yourself set up with a decent front row, a decent sized hand, Five's not really ideal, but I mean, you can still use the effect for drawing and you get your twin drive. There's draw triggers that come into play, but at least something that can get your board set up for your first turn. And obviously, depending on which prayer dragon you're seeing or what's available in your hand, or if you see arcs early in your grade two turn, you might want to go into Gra Grail Mule, Grail U Mirror, <laughs> Grail U Mirror, and kind of start with that. So. Obviously here we're gonna be swinging with mirrors, detach of Irina to counter charge, swing with Jaba, kind of blast to restand, get our twin dried off, set up for persona ride, that's cool. And then get off our next two attacks. So that's like a very simple initial first turn. As the game goes on and you start seeing your targets and you start, you know, recycling cards, if you see Vils Irina, you're kind of steamrolling through the game, finding Virenas, drawing into cards you're looking for, and just Kind of keeping the consistency of keeping a field. So let's say after these two go away, you're taking some damage, you're starting your next turn, maybe you persona ride. You can still keep going by discarding cards from your hand so that you can keep doing the play continuously. So if you want, you can do it again. Stragilo and the Trickstar, whichever target you want, put those Virenas back in, kind of blast to pull another Trickstar out. And if you want, you can use the effects to cross into something else, or you can use this unit skill to counter blast and see if you can find another Virena. No targets, so we counter charge. And then we can cross over dress again, just to kind of keep some plays going. This deck is very versatile. I'd say it adapts really well depending on your situations, um, but it's nowhere near like tier one, but it's definitely a really, really, really fun deck. So if you're really excited for the fact that Mirrors is able to give you back all those counter blasts and let you extend all the plays that you've been wanting to do since set six, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am for how consistent this deck now feels. So thank you again to everyone for watching and also thank you again to our sponsor at 50 Cards. Be sure to check out their website and check out all their bundles and the singles and also all the Shadowverse stuff that they have. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.